What's up guys, Beyond Sand here with another video. So today I'm gonna bring you a list of the top 10 best Citric openings in my collection. This is a mixed list. I have designers, I have niche fragrances, everything together like so just in my collection. Please, if you like this kind of content, if you enjoy watching my videos, don't forget to subscribe. Everybody that makes videos wants to get at least heard. So that's all I want. So don't forget to subscribe, guys. Let's go right into the video. The top 10 of this list will be a designer fragrance. It's a super popular fragrance and I am talking about Aqua Di Gio by Giorgio Armani. Aqua Di Gio Profumo has a interesting opening actually. It's a mix of aquatic notes, citric notes, and incense. So that's why you may not think that this is a super citric uh, fragrance, but this opening is quite citrusy. Uh, so that's one of the best ones that I have in my collection. Aqua Di Gio Profumo in the 10th position. In the ninth position, I got a perfume that a lot of people will say it's a feminine scent. In the 80s, it was marketed as a like feminine scent. And I am talking about the House of Guerlain, Charlimar. Charlimar EDP has a super, super, super strong citrus opening, actually. But this citrus, it's a little bit undertoned by the civet. Like, the civet in this specific fragrance is quite heavy, actually. The civet note is not even in the top, but it's super strong that you can feel it right in the opening. In the 90th position, Shalimar EDP. In the 80th position, another perfume from Guerlain. It's also a classic, and it is Habit Rouge. Habit Rouge it's a super super nice fragrance like the citrus opening here is quite prominent it comes with a carnation note as well so the opening of this one it's a little bit flowery but also citric so citric flowery with carnation which is not that used nowadays anymore i guess some people think this one it's a little bit more the carnation note it's a little bit uh too mature super masculine like the it reminds you like the old days like 70s 80s 80th position habit bush in the seventh position i have another perfume that it's quite mature it's quite like old school kind of this one it's from the house of lalique and i'm talking about lalique porom it does not have a super super citric opening but i mean the opening is quite barbershoppy actually you can get the lavender you can get the oak moss and you can get some citrus as well i mean when you spray you get the citric but you get a little bit more maybe of oak moss and lavender but the citrus are over there because of the mix of oak moss and lavender it gives it some nice vibe with the citruses so this one can be considered as a super citric opening but some people will may get more green vibes actually than actually citric vibes seventh spot la ligue Prom. in the position number six i have a fragrance that has a super nice opening as well a citrus opening dior au sauvage parfum this kind of citric opening it's a citric and resinous opening. The parfum version, it's a little bit more dense. Uh, the citrus are here are super nice. They are quite similar to Eau Sauvage, like the original, the one that was released in 67, if I'm not wrong. The Elemi note gives this kind of like dense vibe with some resins. But anyways, the citrus here are super, super nice. So, Number six, Dior Eau Sauvage Parfum. The fifth fragrance in this list, it's from the house of Zerjov, and I'm talking about Zerjov Neo. Zerjov Neo has a super, super citric opening, 
but it's more a green citric opening because of the combination with citrix, neroli, and also some other green notes. You can see that there's so many green notes in here. I mentioned already that I feel that there's some kind of cilantro here in this fragrance, and you can feel that in the opening. If you want some green and citric vibe, go for Neo from the House of Zerjov. Position number five, Zerjov Neo. In the position number four, another perfume from Zerjov. I think that Zerjov knows how to do citrix so well, and like it's pretty much impossible to do a list like this with best citrix without mentioning at least two Zerjovs. Actually, I have three in this list. There's another one to come. The fourth position is Zerjov Casamorati Fiero. Fierro is a super, super, super nice citric opening, as all of them here. This one also has some kind of mature citric vibe that you could actually find in those citrics in the past, like Dior Eau Sauvage, the original. These two here, they actually match super well together. This one a little bit more resinous, a little bit more subtle. This one, it's a little bit more light, a little bit more airy. So they kind of complement each other. I prefer this one. This one is a little bit more refined, I would say. And this one here, differently from the Dior Eau Sauvage Parfum that I just showed you, this one, it's not resinous. That's the biggest difference between them. The resonancy in the other perfume actually gives it some density that this one does not have. This one is way fresher. And in the top, you can get some like lemon, some lemongrass. This one, it's just a super nice old school vibe kind of citric. So this is my fourth position. Zerjov Casamorati Fierro. Third position, I have a perfume that it's from a designer house. It's impossible to do a citric list without mentioning this one, especially in the designer helm. I am talking about John Varvedas Artisan Pure. Artisan Pure is all about clementine, petit grain, lemon, bergamot. Like there's so many citric notes in this specific fragrance that it's impossible to not mention this one. It's a super nice designer. It's one of the best designers. It does last longer than all the other John Vervedo's uh, perfumes that I actually tried. This is all about citrus with a base of musk and a little bit of amber just to like give some kind of, not density, but gives it some kind of, you know, like longevity to the fragrance. Otherwise, it would be super difficult to make this fragrance last long because there's so many citrus notes here. If you like a mix of clementine, orange, like lemon, lemongrass, all this kind of stuff, John Vervedo's Artisan Pier. In the second position, so here it comes, the third and last Zerjov fragrance in this list, Zerjov Renaissance. So Zerjov Renaissance, it's also all about citrus with a base of amber and musk. Otherwise, it would be difficult to make this one last as well. This one also lasts a lot. Like in the dry down, it does not project that much. Actually, it's super close to your skin, which is normal for a citric fragrance. But this one, the smell of this one, the opening of this one is just sublime. I think that's the probably the best adjective to actually give to this specific fragrance. If I had to say three things about this specific fragrance, I would say elegant, sublime, sophisticated. In my second position, Zerjov Renaissance. And the top one perfume in this best citric opening video is a fragrance from the house of Profumo Roma, Profumo Roma Aqua Viva. Aqua Viva also made the top one in my summer list 2020. It's exactly how you would feel if you were peeling, crunching, like smashing, cutting lemons the whole day to make like a drink, to make a juice, like 
to do something with that lemon because this is lemon not just the juice but also the peel of it you can get the all the facets like you can get all the phases of the lemon in this specific bottle if you are looking for a citric fragrance that lasts super long during summer look no further profumo roma aqua viva that's it guys i hope you guys liked it don't forget to subscribe and like my videos leave your comments give me some feedback show me your love and i will see you in the next video bye bye